today is a trending topic day. Let's okay? go. We have so much to talk about, so much celebrity <laughs> gossip, so much current events. Um, something that is going viral right now is this Wendy Williams trailer for her documentary. Woo! Yes. So, okay, for those of you that don't know, Wendy Williams, former daytime talk show host, is having a documentary come out at the end of February for Lifetime. Um, okay, so she this documentary goes on about her health problems. And in the trailer, you can clearly see she's suffering physically and mentally. So the people who are shooting the documentary, of course, Lifetime, have has had two years of complete access to the media personality, which originally it was supposed to show her career come back. But instead, it shows an unfiltered reality um, since her financial guardianship that she was placed under. And I mean, I don't know if you guys have seen the trailer, but do you think that this is going to bring her career back or do you think it's going to be kind of like a warning to other people as how they might go down this path if they follow what she's been doing? Well, I did not see the trailer, but I will say I did see her Instagram post, which was about two days ago, and she's in the library or something like that. I will say... um, I'm rooting for her. I never want to see anyone uh, go into a situation where their health is at risk from letting them do what they love. So I'm rooting for her. Hopefully everything yeah. works out for her. Um, but I did see the post. I have to see the um, the preview <clears throat> to the special. I know uh, it's on Lifetime. Yeah, I mean, as um, as a human being, you don't want to see anybody suffering, you know, no matter what. Just mm. the backlash of it all is Winnie Williams has made a... Uh, an amazing career, but on the backs of talking about different yeah. people, mm -hmm. uh, disrespecting people, people's relationships, peddling with uh, people's, you know, you know, who's attracted to who, who's dating who, and I heard this and this gossip, and it's like, it it did on the other end create problems for the other people that are celebrities. No, I don't think anybody's thought about that. If you're a celebrity, and she may have been talked about things that weren't even true, and it affects your personal life, right? So. I understand where people are coming from. Like, people are like, "That's what she gets." I don't feel, I don't feel bad for her at all. You know, chickens have come home to roost. And then there's people that's like, "Hey, man, like, you know, that's just it was just a job." And at the end of the day, she's a person, and she's definitely in a lot of pain. Mm -hmm. And she she looks sick. She does. She looks sick. And poor Wendy. Poor Wendy. Yeah, mm. poor poor Wendy. You know, um, it's in the entertainment business. She's just entertaining, and I get that. I don't think anything that she did was personal. I think she just said. I got to do what I got to do to be successful, and this is the way to do it. Well, and if you remember, I mean, if you guys had watched her when she was on her daytime talk show, she would always say how she was not friends with celebrities yeah. because she goes, well, I have to talk about them on my show. I don't want to be friends with these people and then have to talk about them and report on them. And then they hit me up and they're like, hey, I thought we were friends. Why did you say this? Kind of stuff I mean, she me? does have her few people that she's friends with still like Black China. And, um, um, you know, there's a couple of people. Is, a, is that a friend? If I was they don't say, go, they, they friends? If they don't go like and check up on you and if they haven't seen well, you I in mean, a long time. I'm just saying it because she has posts where she's like, my girl, this and that. I mean, and she's, media she's friends, you know, sure. yeah. So, yeah, I agree with that media friends. Right. right. So, close personal friends. But yeah, you know. close personal friends. I mean, Charlemagne is another one. Um, but I guess not anymore. I don't. But, um, I don't think they're, they're close they're in person at all. They're yeah. not friends. I mean, he was but, an intern and he rose to the top of where he's at. Right. But now. I know when she was going through what she was going through. You know, they got together and they had dinner and there was like a big post of them hanging out and yeah. things like that. So yeah, I think that they squashed their beef, but I wouldn't call them friends. Mm. Um, he definitely learned a lot from her. Associates. And, yeah, mm. but you know, and he talks about her a lot. And in fact, he recently went on the Breakfast Club and he's like. Why are they putting cameras in this lady's face? Like, she's obviously sick. She obviously doesn't... She You can tell she doesn't really know what's going on. Why are the cameras in her face? She's just surrounded by a bunch of yes people. Yeah. Um, That's just a life, though. So. I mean, that personal, you know, that... Uh you know, a public figure life, that's, that happens with a lot of people. I mean, remember Kanye West? I'm not trying to get off the topic, but, you know, someone put the phone in his face and asked, like, well, you know, well, you know, I'm not sure what his wife's name is. Bianca. <laughs> Bianca. And they were like, well, you know, is it true or that, you know, you're not letting Bianca be her own woman, that you're kind of forcing her to do these things? And he just lost it. He's like, I'm yeah. a human. Yeah. Like, like you don't ask me no disrespectful questions like that. Like, like, I'm forcing her to do that. He was like, what's your name? What's your name? Yeah. I'll, I'll pay you to work for me. That's when I'm like, all right, cool. My name is such and such, such and such. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm not talking paparazzi cameras being in her face. It's yeah. the, the documentary people in her face doing an actual video 
Daniel on her. He's wondering why are they letting this happen when you can tell she's clearly very sick. Yeah, that's yeah. that's more like why is Lifetime doing this sh- uh, documentary on her when mm. she's like not all there. Um, and and the trailer goes on to say like one of her people around her is like, do you think Wendy's losing her memory? Like, what's going? Does she even know what's going on? Possibly. So man, it's she really looks sad. she looks bad, man. It's yeah. really sad. I I hope she can recover from this. Um, I hope so too. I hope it. She got a divorce as well, right? From this. Um, her divorce was was way before, and I think that's where people think that that's where it stems from. I mean, her husband was her manager. I know they have a son, and they do have a, a son in his young twenties. But the reason they got divorced was because he had an affair for like ten years or something, and then the affair partner had a baby. So that was a really big Dang. deal. Yeah, that was crazy. They it, were living in a house is, that she, Wendy isn't owned. she paying him money? Not anymore. Not uh, anymore. But um, they, she basically they basically lived in a house that Wendy owned. Him and his fling. So, oh, that's a player, boy. Player. Right. So her husband like went out player and had vibes. a baby on her. So mm. I think that I think that started her spiral. Yeah, that's yeah, crazy. Honestly, that's crazy. Um, I had no idea. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Yeah. But I, I hope Wendy Williams gets gets back. I think that uh, if she can make a comeback, people would open up their arms to her and they would support her, and she'd get back to you know that how, how you doing type talk and and see what happens. You I, know? Will, I, I will say she's one of the people who started gossip talk on, you know. That she made, made it, it big. She made she it did. big. She made it super big. I would big. love for her to have a comeback. I'd love to see her come back healthy and happy and come back to her old self, but I would rather her focus on her health. I'd rather her oh, focus yeah. on being okay again and not, you know, not continuing the spiral. Um, but I, I, w- I would love to see her back. Are you going to watch the documentary? Yes. Well, you already watched one of her uh, she, biopics, right? She, she had, I watched a biopic yeah, too as well. Yeah, she had two. There was two projects. Um, I don't know if she was associated with both of them. You're a fan. One of them she was for sure. I used to watch Wendy Williams every day. Wow, that's I amazing. I loved her so much. So that's that's crazy. I have a picture of her purple chair in my room, like as inspiration. Oh, no, there you go. A picture of a purple chair. Honestly, yeah. There you oh, go. Oh, that's sweet. That's yeah. sweet. So I'm a fan, Wendy. I hope you're gonna be okay. <laughs> there you go. We want the best. Luminary Sounds wants the best for you. That's so. right. I, I definitely. I, I just doesn't matter what she said about anybody it's just talk and you know you know sticks and stones may break your bones but words will never hurt you type situation and then hope she gets back you know he took it back to the, the nursery rhyme took it back because that's it's true it's like you know it's just conversation you know it doesn't yeah. it doesn't really matter what other people are saying you know 